Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my December favorites and I have some pretty cool stuff to show you this month. Um, <clears throat> I've been really trying to push myself to try a lot of different makeup as far as like brands. I usually just stick with what I know, what I feel comfortable with and mostly affordable makeup which I know you guys really appreciate that I do a lot of affordable like makeup looks but I definitely want to expand more into like Sephora and Ulta so this month I expanded my horizons so I'm going to be showing you a couple of things that I've just been loving the month of December <sighs> if my lighting looks off it's because I literally just broke my freaking ring lights which is the one that I use to you know give me the um, the light that goes to towards my face I completely broke it and I'm a little ticked off so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys are some brushes um, I've actually um, reviewed some of these brushes before and these are the Luxie um, Luxie Beauty Brushes. Now, this is from their new Dream Catcher collection. They actually did send this out to me as like a Christmas thank you gift. So, I got this in the mail and honestly, I've been loving it so much since I got them. And they come in this cute little purple little case and it says Luxie on here. I'll see if you guys can see that. But it says Luxie on here. And all the brushes are so ridiculously soft. This is actually my favorite one. It's a large dual fiber sibling brush. And this is perfect for just like blending out your whole face. If you go overboard with like bronzer or anything like that. You can actually just use this to blend everything out. This is actually a really good bronzer um, brush as well, but I mainly use it just to blend everything. And then the second brush that I love is the Tapered Highlighter 522 brush. And that's what it looks like. It's a really nice um, highlight brush because it comes to a point. It's really nice and fluffy and it's not too dense. As you can see, mine is super dirty. But this is what I use to just pack on my highlights. And it really, really does a really nice job at packing it on. I like to use my highlight wet and then apply it to my skin. That way it doesn't look too powdery or anything like that. And then my third favorite brush definitely has to be this big one. And this is the Tapered Face Brush. And as you can see, it is super, super big. I actually use this to either apply um, powder if I'm setting my face, which... I haven't been setting my face with any source of powder because my skin has been dry like the friggin desert but I have been using this to apply my blush even though it's like super big but I just really use the pointy part as you can see it's tapered and I just go in and lightly buff out my blush and I really like it for that. Moving on to lips, I'm going to show you the combination of the lipstick that I am wearing right now. It's been my go-to. I either use it alone or in combination and it's just absolute perfection. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Americano. It is such a gorgeous color. I will give you a swatch of it. This really reminds me of like a terracotta color. That's the only and best way that I can explain it. It's really, really pretty. It has like those red brown undertones. It would be kind of like a version of Cocoa Bear and Lipstick by Makeup Geek. I really like it and Ofra Cosmetics actually has really good liquid lipsticks. They're not completely matte to the point where they're going to like dry your lips but they have like the perfect texture to them. I really like this one. And then the second one that I've been loving a lot is Give Me Glow's Fireside Flirting. And this is it right here. This one has more of like dark mauve undertones. This one as well has really great formula. It's not over drying on the lips and it doesn't cling on to dry patches. I have done a review of these and swatches on my lips so if you guys are interested in that I will have them down below. The moment that I tried this foundation out I haven't put it down and I've been wearing it every day since and this is the L'Oreal True Match Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation and I am in the color N4. So this is actually the foundation that I'm wearing yet again and as you can see I feel like it's a really close match to you know to like my actual skin tone and even though I am oily again for the millionth time I've been really really dry so this just has helped me not look super dry on my face and I really like it 
even though I think the price is kind of ridiculous on this for being a drugstore product, I really think if you are dry, you're really going to like it. And maybe if you are oily, if you just use it around the outer perimeter of your face where you're not as oily, I think you're going to get a really nice dewy finish, which, you know, a lot of people like, so... Talking about dewiness and all things that glow, I've really been into the Luxe Beauty Highlights and Labelle. This is a pressed highlight powder. She actually has one of the best highlights that I've ever come across, and that is talking about high-end products as well. They're really affordable. This is actually only $15, and the pigmentation on it is beautiful. This is the highlight that I'm wearing right now, and it is that perfect golden champagne with a little bit of like peach undertone so that is that highlight right here literally one swipe and you are good to go this is such a pretty highlight if you're my skin tone or a little bit darker i think this is really going to sit your suit your skin tone well now this is um one of my new and currently obsessions of mine is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Now I'm definitely cheating with this one because I literally just picked it up over the weekend but no joke since this came out I had been eyeing it. I just saw it and I seen so many reviews and makeup tutorials and I was just immediately sold on it and I think it's been a minute since I've really 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 wanted to get a palette. I went as far as going out of my way um about 30 minutes from where I live just to get this palette because it is that pretty and I'm so happy that I did because I actually came across to one of my viewers at Sephora in Salt Lake City and I got to meet her so it was really cool super unexpected and hi if you're um, watching this video so yeah I did go to a Sephora to hunt this down because my local Sephora's don't have it yet so I really like this palette. It's actually the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I have um, Cafe Mood Latte, I believe that's what it's pronounced. It's a really pretty, like, sparkly, like, silver brown, like a taupey color. I have Bordox, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And then I have a little bit of Pecan Praline on my crease, and it is so pretty. Too Faced always has really amazing palettes, especially their Too Faced chocolate palettes. I did originally get the Too Faced chocolate bar, like the original one, and I really like it. I don't use it as much, but it's a really good palette, and if you haven't had the chance to get this, you know, for yourself, definitely get it. And if you guys want to see tutorials on this, let me know because I have some ideas on it. Three more products and we'll be done. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palettes in Medium. My sister actually gifted me this for Christmas because she asked me what I wanted and I was like, makeup, duh. So I told her that I had been eyeing this but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it. I'm not a huge fan of cream contours because I feel like when I apply too much makeup on my skin, it easily gets really cakey on me. I don't know why. But I wanted to try it anyway, and I really like it. Um, it's a little bit hard to work with. I feel like you really have to work in your brush to get it to come off really creamy. And it's definitely on the thicker consistency side. So I do have to be very careful when I apply this to my eyes. Because again, I just get cakey really easily. But I think it's something fun and something new to try out. And I'm... I'm liking it so far. Like I said, I definitely have to work with it a little bit more. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to use it and how to avoid getting a cake face with this, let me know in the comments down below. And then last but not least is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I know that most of these products are like old school, but I just never felt the need to get a contour palette when I have so many stuff that I like. But again, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I've heard so many good things about this palette and I just just said I'm gonna buy it and I did. So I am so glad that I bought this. This palette is so creamy. But I really like it and I'm glad that I invested my money into it. I didn't get the brush because it was sold out but I might be getting it. If you guys have it let me know if it's worth it. I've been using what I have and I really like it so yeah. Okay guys so those were all my December favorites. Sorry if 
they weren't a lot I always feel like I don't have enough but those were all the products that I was really loving for the month of December that I've been reaching out for the most and again if you guys do want to see makeup tutorials using the Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette please let me know because I'll be more than happy to do makeup tutorials for you guys so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye